Welcome to review by DJ PRC. We have the Armor Outcast on the table. Uh, I just did a video on changing the drive shafts, the axles. The front, it's the same principle for the rear, uh, but they do have different part numbers. But what I want to do on this guy here, I want to upgrade the steering knuckle and the steering uh, blocks. These are plastic. Uh, I have a tendency of breaking these constantly uh, on the bottom here. And I decided to grab uh, the aluminum ones. And they do have carbon fiber pins. That's awesome. Easiest way to do this, we'll grab our two mil, remove our retaining screw. It's a small screw, but at the side. Grab any smaller screwdriver, pop in the pin, remove a quarter pin. And if you're not sure on your block, you'll see there's a small hole on the opposite. Pop your screwdriver inside. Boom. And you'll pin come out. Your pin, your pin will come out. Uh, grab our two mil. What we're gonna do is remove our memory block here or screws that holds for a steering pull that aside don't really need this one again the kit comes with another one and then remove our screw for our caster and just pull everything in one shot. And we're gonna pop our dry shaft out. Bada boom, bada bing, it comes out. And we're gonna push our bearing out because we're gonna need to reuse those. Now we're gonna need our two mil to unscrew the top screw. And we'll need to do the bottom one too. And technically we don't need anything else on this. You can keep it in one piece. Let's say I ever break my aluminum ones, I'll go back to the plastic. But I don't think I'll break the aluminum ones. You never know. Now, if you want to grab these, this kit here, it's the TFF1901 Aluminum Front C-Hub Caster Block Arma 110 4S BLX. And it comes with everything you need in the kit. And this one is the TFF21G01 Aluminum Front Steering Block Arma, again, 110 BLX. We can put these two together right here. Grab our big bolts that we just removed. Now, if you put, if you want to put a little bit of Loctite on that, go ahead. Any bolt with uh, aluminum, you should put Loctite. Now, just for this video, I won't. I'll come back and do it. And here's our piece here. And this is, like I said, the arm here is fully uh, carbon fiber. That's technically kind of the weak part, I say. Just hope I never break that. If not, I'll fabricate them back in the aluminum. Now, what we're going to do is insert our bearing here, insert our dry shaft, and reinstall it on the vehicle itself. 
install our C hub and pop our pin. And make sure it goes in the in the arm first. <laughs> Push it all the way through and everything's solid there. Insert the pin right here. Now make sure I don't forget, reinstall our screw. That keeps that pin there. You can reuse the stock one if you want to, it's the same size. Going to grab our caster on top. This could be, they could be finicky sometimes because of the, the ball in. Insert it and say to it, stay. Going to open our pack here. Grab our artist screw. It's probably the same size as the stock one, but I'd rather reuse the new one on for that. Doesn't really matter. There we go. Sometimes they're finicky. The only thing I don't like is the ball studs that armor uses after a while they do become loose and just fall off it's like here for the steering block i got the ball stud right here i'll reinsert it doesn't matter it comes out it kind of stays a bit but here it just fall just fall what i'm going to do for the other side it comes with a bolt and a nut I'm gonna grab a washer. This is a stainless washer. I don't have the physical size, but as long that when you put it, it sits on the uh, ball stud, uh, the ball stud. As long as it doesn't go through, you're more than fine. Install your ball stud. That keeps on coming out. Insert it back where it needs to be on top. Yeah, that's what I did differently. That's right, I just remembered. I reused the stock one on this because it's longer. There's barely, barely any thread that holding the nut underneath. Flip this on its side. Grab our nut. Grab our pliers. Don't have a wrench with me. Or should I say close by? And tighten that guy up. Not gonna force it. And now this won't come off. Besides our bearing falling off. There we go. You do this. Let's reinstall our tire. Grab our pin. Lift this up. This is another, another step that Arma took from HPI, these nuts. Don't like them. The uh, Savage had them and the, the physical wheel holds a lot bigger and the nut makes the spacer. I hate it. They credited on the V2 that we have in the fleet. And there we go.
this is how you do your caster block and stunning block from Hot Racing on the Arma Outcast 4S. Now these will work for the V1 and V2. Uh, if you want to grab yourself a set if you need any, go ahead. I don't think I'll have any issues. The only other thing I need to do on this truck here soon is put the RPM A arms in front. I do have them in the back. Uh, and then we should be golden. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to hit that like button if you like the video and that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, go ahead. I do appreciate it and it helps the channel a lot. Thank you for watching.